Valerie, that was a uh, split decision. But a lot of people thought you should have taken the unanimous. Uh, were you surprised that one judge saw it for Taylor Turner? Um, yes. It's just that she was so tall, so it was really hard for me to get my distance. But um, I knew I had won the fight. I thought by unanimous, but it's okay. I just, I'm really happy to be back and be myself again. Yeah, and talk to me about getting back in, in the win column. I, you suffered a, uh, your first professional defeat a mm -hmm. few months ago. Um, what was the feeling like to sort of, you know, get back in the win column and, and, and bounce back? Um, you know, I lost that fight to Hannah. I wasn't myself, and I've said this over and over again. You know, that was the worst heartbreak of my life that I've ever been through, and I grieved it, and I went through those emotions. But I think it's more powerful the fact that I was able to pick myself up and perform like this today because I did go through a lot mentally after I lost that fight. I knew that I lost to myself, not to her. But I'm really happy to be back and be back in the winning column like I deserve because I train like a winner. You had told me that you made a lot of changes mm -hmm. after the defeat. Uh, one of them having uh, Tiago uh, Alves being your head coach. Yeah. He was there screaming his, his lungs <laughs> out. Uh, what was it like to work with him for the first time as, as far as being a, a head coach? And uh, did you like everything leading up to the fight and, and the result as well? You know, it's funny because Tiago, when I first got to American Top Team, the first class I ever did was a sparring session. And he was actually the coach who just started coaching me randomly. And um, I was an amateur, so... I didn't um, have the confidence to choose my coaches. And then after this fight, um, it gave me the confidence to choose um, my coaches in American Top Team and develop into a different camp and have an amazing um, coaching and training experience like I deserve to. And you clearly looked a lot more patient, a lot more polished in your game. Are you happy with the strides that, that you've made and the progress that you've made as an MMA fighter? Yeah, I'm super happy. I think you have to remember I'm only 23 years old. and. The media is so hard on me, but I did this to myself, and I put myself in this position because I know I'm a star, and I know I could do it. You know, I know I've developed, I mean, I've devoted my whole life to martial arts, so it's just a matter of time that I, oh, Roman just won. It's just a matter of time that, um, that I keep winning, and I develop into a full, uh, rounded mixed martial artist. What, what's next for you? You had mentioned uh, prior that you wanted to get that Hannah Guy rematch at mm -hmm. some point. Uh, yeah. But w what's next for you? Um, what's next for me is whatever Bellator has in hand for me. Um, I'm just so proud of myself and going out there today, and I'm looking forward to continue doing it. Hey, Valerie, congratulations on your win. Uh, earlier in the fight, you were able to box close in, in the clinch. How did that feel just knowing... Uh, during your time, you were able to transition from one part of your fight game to another. Um, it was just so hard because I'm 5'3 and she was 5'10. I looked at her like this, like literally. So, And she's a lot older than me. She has two fights in Bellator. She's a grappler. She has a lot more experience than me. But I didn't want to set a fight. I just wanted to go out there and prove myself again and prove to myself that I'm Bali Loretta, the one from before. And you had uh, family and friends here, a lot of them rooting for you on, telling you what to do, or, or just cheering you on. How did that feel? Was there any pressure involved, and how did it feel getting your hand raised at the end in front of them? No, actually, I, I felt the most comfortable and happy I've felt in a while. And before backstage, I was dancing, and I was just listening to my uh, Hispanic music, and I felt just so calm and at peace. I've never felt like this before, and I'm just uh, so blessed to be able to do this in front of my mom, who had cancer and survived leukemia. And she's sitting here watching me today and in front of my, my two little sisters and on my dad's birthday, because my dad cornered me, and today's his birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to him. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Jim! <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> so what was it like as far as the game plan goes? And it seemed like the kicks, wow, they were super hard, really working well for you. Once you start getting those, landing those kicks, was it like, oh, I got to start using the kicks a little more? No. She was too tall. I didn't want to use kicks. I just wanted to uh, move around and box in and come out. But every time I would kick, I would connect. I'm, that's, this is just the beginning. I haven't showed anything. And you mentioned about your father. What was it like having him there in your corner? He was super excited for you. Oh, my goodness. You. He's, he's so extra. But, um, it's his birthday, and I'm happy to be able to give him this win as a birthday present. And also, I noticed the hair tonight. 
for you right oh, now. Is there God. any significance to the colors in your hair there? It's Miami Vice theme, but in the middle of the fight, my hair fell off. And the reason I always put in a bun is because I spin a lot. And if I spin with my hair loose, it whips me in the eye. So I have to put it up. And I don't think um, I need to find a solution to this. This is the second time it happens to me. And then lastly for me, if you could also follow up on just what it was like being here, hometown Miami, having the crowd supporting you and behind you and getting the victory. It's a dream come true. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miami. Thank you, Bellator. This is just the beginning of my career. All right, we'll take a few more questions from the media. Join us virtually tonight. Thank you so much. Valerie, real quick, um, we saw you tonight perform. Yes. Uh, your kicks were, were on point. They were on target. <laughs> you used a lot of spinning kicks, a lot of spinning elbows. Um, Did is, I? <laughs> yes, you did. Um, I, and, did that, and I did that just to piss people off because my last fight, the back fist thing, I literally remember just throwing it just to say because I know I could land it. I just did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, and you already mentioned that, that the height difference was, was a challenge, that you yeah. literally had to look up to her to throw punches upwards. Um, yeah. Did, while you were close to the fence and, mm -hmm. and you guys were exchanging blows and we, and we saw your face, how it was almost as if you were upset with yourself that, or it, like if it was almost like a street fight, that you I wanted know. to exchange a lot of blows with her. At any point, did you feel like you could have taken her down and played the ground game? Oh, or yeah, for sure. And so why didn't you? Because I wanted to give a fun fight, <laughs> an entertaining fight. I didn't want to just grapple on the ground, but I could have definitely beat her up on the ground. But I just wanted to do fun stuff and a lot of punches, and I love dog fighting. That's my favorite way to fight. I do it every day sparring, and I did it today again. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that was something to see, that's for sure. But to be a complete fighter, you mentioned training with American Top Team. You mentioned uh -huh. that you're still young. Uh, you still have a lot to, to show. Mm -hmm. When do you think that will happen? When do you think that transformation of not just kicks, not just punches, when do you think in your career, will it happen here in Bellator? Will it happen later in the future? When will we see that change in you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it at any fight that I feel like is necessary. And I'm just going to continue being myself. And um, I love Bellator. I love this promotion. They believed in me when I was an amateur and I was nobody. And I've grown tremendously in the promotion in a way no one ever has before. Oh, absolutely. Great fight. <laughs> Wish you the best. And wish you the best. All right. Thanks for the time, Valerie. Congrats on the win.